If you've watched any of my recent videos, you're probably aware I love the Mario Kart Arcade games. I want you guys to experience these games for the first time, or if you've played them already, experience them at home. So in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to play Mario Kart Arcade GP 1 and 2 on the Wii, along with any GameCube game. Let's get into the tutorial. Here's what you'll need. You'll need a Wii. We'll be using the 2011 Family Edition revision, which lacks native GameCube support, but an original Wii will work just as well, if not better since you can use a GameCube controller. This will not work with the Wii Mini, so you can just throw that back in the trash where it belongs. You'll also need an SD card. Mine is 16GB, but I believe you can use one up to 64GB. You'll also need a classic controller, but if you have an original Wii, a GameCube controller will do as well. And you'll need a PC. This is where you'll be able to install the Homebrew Channel, Nintendo, and the ROMs of Mario Kart Arcade GP 1 and 2. First, you're going to want to find your ROMs. I can't provide a link, but Google Mario Kart Arcade GP 1 and 2 ROMs on Reddit, and I'm sure you'll be able to find them. Then proceed to download them, and once you've done that, head on over to your Wii for the next step. What you want to do is boot up your Wii, go into Settings, then go into Internet, and select Console Information. You will then see your MAC address, so copy that down. Once you obtain your MAC address, you're going to want to go to the HackMe website, which I have listed in the description. Choose your version that matches your Wii's region, with 4.3 U being North America, 4.3 E Europe, 4.3 J Japan, and 4.3 K Korea. Put in your MAC address and click either the blue or red wire, and it should download after that. Then what you want to do is plug in your SD card into your PC. Format your SD card to FAT32. It should be in this format already, but just check to make sure. This will erase whatever is on your SD card, so I would recommend getting a new one for this project, or just use one you don't use. After that, extract the letter bomb files to the SD card. This is what your SD card should look like once everything is extracted. Safely eject your SD card, and it's back to the Wii. Put your SD card back in the Wii, and go to the letters icon at the bottom right. Flip back until you see the red envelope. Click on that and you'll be taken to the Homebrew Channel installer. Wait until it says press 1 to continue, and from here, you can install the Homebrew Channel. Press continue, install the Homebrew Channel, then yes continue. Your menu should look like this. Once you've done that, turn off your Wii, take your SD card out, and it's back to the PC. You're going to want to create two new folders on your SD card. A folder called apps, and a folder called games. Once you've done that, go into your apps folder and create a folder called Nintendo. Then go back to the root of your SD card to go into the games folder. In order to play the games, we have to make folders with their name. I want to play Mario Kart Arcade GP2, so I'll make a folder called Mario Kart Arcade GP2. Wherever you have Mario Kart Arcade GP2 installed, rename it Just Game. Then copy it to the Mario Kart Arcade GP2 folder on your SD card. Repeat the process for other games you have. If you're copying, rename whatever is called game to something else, so the other game you're trying to copy doesn't get renamed or replaced. Once you've done that, Head on over to the Nintendo website I have listed in the description. Go to the bottom page, install loader.doll, save meta as an XML, and save the Nintendo icon as a PNG. Open the folder with these files, and rename loader doll to boot doll, and put them in the Nintendo folder on your SD card. Eject your SD card safely, and it's back to the Wii. Once you have installed everything on the SD card, go to the homebrew channel and you will see the Nintendo icon. Open the app and if it's done correctly, you will see your games. But before you play, Go into settings and make sure memory card emulation is on. That way you can save your game. Go back to the main menu, choose your game, and that's it. This is the easiest way to play Mario Kart arcade games at home, and you can finally experience how amazing these games are, or play them at home for the first time. I should warn you, you use the right trigger to accelerate and A to throw items, but once you know that, you'll be able to play these games in all their glory from the comfort of your own home. The games play perfectly on the Wii because they're natively running on the hardware. Even though the 2011 Wii revision doesn't have physical GameCube support, it can still run them perfectly fine via Nintendo. And don't forget, this works with all GameCube games as well. You can play Chibi Robo without paying a small fortune. You can play the best Paper Mario game, have Nintendo shut you down, and actually play a good Mario Party. If Nintendo isn't going to re-release these games, you don't need to miss out. Just make folders with the game title, and rename the ROM game, just like we did for the other games. That's all you gotta do. So there you have it. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments, and keep calm and da-da on.